turn up to this one it's an unvented cylinder 150 litre just a quick video to show you how to top up the expansion vessel on these you should always be reading manufacturer's instructions but on this tribune cylinder it's an external expansion vessel on the vessel itself it'll give us all the information that we need three bar is what the expansion should be pumped up to just going to have a quick look at the tundish dish to see if there's any issues looks like there has been in the past but dry as a bone now so the first thing that we need to do is locate the cold main on the on the balance coal going into the cylinder it's always good practice to put a stop tap by the cylinder just for ease of maintenance really that combi valve isn't in the best place but i didn't install the cylinder so anyway turn the cold main off if you don't have the luxury of a stop tap in the airing cupboard then you'll have to go and turn the whole cold main off and now what you want to do is go and open the furthest hot tap i'm going to go to the basin open the hot tap You'll get lots of water come out. I've sped this up because it did take nearly a minute. But just be patient and wait and eventually the water will stop running. Once it's stopped running, leave the tap open. Because whenever you're pumping up a vessel, it needs to be open to atmospheric pressure. Go to, to the top of your expansion vessel. Take the little decorative cap off. Under there, you're going to have a Schrader valve. Take that cap off as well. Put that somewhere safe because you'll need that again later. I got my Regan electric pump. Used to use a foot pump, but when you're pumping up to three by, then I have to take some pumping. Whereas this is nice and simple, literally attach it. Then when you turn it on on the screen, set the pressure that you want, we want bar. We're gonna turn that up to three. When we get to the desired pressure, we're going to press the trigger. Now it's displaying the pressure inside at the moment, which is 0.95, which is pretty flat to be fair. So again, I've sped this up because it took quite a while, but we pump it all the way to three bar. I always like to leave the gauge on for a couple of minutes just to check it doesn't drop. That trailer valve you had earlier, we're going to need that again. So pop that back on, do everything in reverse. I'm going to put that little decorative cap on. I'm going to look like I'm spinning it, but actually it doesn't. It just sits on. And then with that tap open, I'm going to open the cold main. I'm just going to crank it open. And then I'm going to go to the hot tap and turn it off. You might want to leave it running enough just so any air bubbles come out. But that's another one done. Happy days.